think you're right. I mean, something has to be done, right? I mean, yeah. there have been, I mean, George Floyd is simply the latest of a long litany in your country, in my country, where this has happened. So clearly something is wrong. But, you know, I've also been pushing back. I did a few interviews last week. It is the whole thing about defunding police. Okay. Um, I do think that police, we ask police to do things they probably shouldn't be doing, mm -hmm. like care for street people and care for the mentally ill. That's not their job. Their job is to maintain law and order mm -hmm. and stop people from killing other people. That's what we do. I mean, we give police, uniquely in our countries, maybe not your country, uh, we give police, we're the only ones who have the authority to use lethal force. Mm -hmm. We give them that, that authority because, you know, they're, they're there to protect us, whether it's gangs or, or drugs or whatever kind of thing. But we've asked them to do far too many things for which they're probably, I'm not sure they're unqualified, but they're not best qualified. They're probably not best positioned to do either. So why don't we just let them do what they're supposed to be doing, which is, you know, respond to calls, hopefully preemptively before people start dying kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But why do, why do we have cops putting mentally ill people in hospitals? Why do we or have cops? sometimes in the morgue, depending on their interaction? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, who yeah. decided that was a good idea in the first place? I don't know. But to me, I mean, you know, I, I think there has to be a more intelligent funding of policing as opposed to a defunding. That, so yet, that, to, to save you a whole world of pain in case you make a tweet that you end up getting attacked over, that, that is essentially what it means. I don't know why the messaging is so horrible, but the hashtag yeah. like abolish the police and the hashtag yeah. defund the police. Now, if you ask 10 people what it means, you'll get 10 different answers. But exactly. generally what they'll answer is, well, we don't mean defund the police, like take all the money. Yeah. We, we mean reallocate the money into yeah. more appropriate sectors yeah. that cause a decrease in crime, yeah. crime and detention enforcement. Yeah. That's typically what they mean when they say defund or relish police. They... I, I don't disagree with you. I, I think yeah. that's exactly what most people mean. I mean, some of the people on, maybe on the far left would say, well, you know, police forces are just inherently evil and we don't need police forces. Yeah, and blah, defenders blah, of blah, capital, blah. yeah. But that, that, not like the, that's not like the mainstream, yeah. No, but no, that, I, no, I don't think it is either. Yeah. yeah. There is um, a project called uh, Camp Campaign Zero. Um, and I think um, mm -hmm. if you've seen that hashtag eight can't wait comes from that. Uh, and that's kind of an interesting, uh, it's supposed to be like a research-driven set of reforms that could help the police. Um, and they've got mm -hmm. like 10 different kind of broad prescriptions that they have, like um, demilitarization of the police, uh, more community policing, yeah. bro and yeah. broken windows policing, like stuff like this. It seems yeah. like a good set of suggestions, yeah. I, I agree. And, I, you know, I've worked alongside police a lot. I mean, I used to work for a police force, the Ontario Provincial Police, very briefly when I retired from the security service. You know, and, and police officers are training, 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 training all the time. They, they seem to do nothing but train all the time. So, you know, they're doing their best. Are there bad apples? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I think we have to constantly look at what we're doing. And you raised the, the point of militarization. That to me seems to be the one thing that that's where, we, where the train went off the rails. Mm -hmm. We militarized our police forces. You look at some of the, the, the gear that police forces in our countries have, some of the vehicles they got. For Christ's sake, it's just like it's like the, the, the first brigade kind of thing, right? It's definitely assumed a role. I don't think it was ever intended to, to be there, but for whatever reason, we decided that's that's the role we wanted the police to play. So I 100% I, I agree. We have to rethink this thing and do it more smartly as opposed to not, not doing it at all.